Opponents of the law say they're confident they'll get them repealed in the fall. But meanwhile, across town, another group of educators learned how to put the classroom changes into practice. Laptops cannot replace our teachers. Around 100 people gathered to kick off the campaign to repeal the biggest changes to education in Idaho history. Organizer Mike Lanza says he's confident they have the support they need. We have more than 3,000 likes on our Facebook page for Idaho parents and teachers together. Uh, the first couple thousand of those came within the first month of the Luna Laws being proposed and it's steadily grown. Um, that's an indication of, I think, where the public stands on these laws. A few blocks away, several hundred educators filled a hotel conference room, learning how to implement some of those changes, including using more technology and online learning. The majority of the room is very receptive, and there's some healthy skepticism, and that's and that's, uh, you know, that's not a bad thing at all. That's good. We need to ask the deeper questions. The skepticism doesn't surprise students come first director Matt McCarter. Those are some things we've learned from other states that have gone down that road. Initially, pushback. But once standardized, once adopted, uh, they begin to reap the, the benefits. It's not replacing in any way. And I think sometimes with that misconception, people are maybe scared and they're not quite sure about where is this going to go or how is this going to affect me. Weezer High School teacher Michelle Chavez says technology has helped her students and students in other rural districts get access to courses they otherwise wouldn't have. I would just urge everybody to give it, look at it open-mindedly and give it a chance because it's turned out to be probably one of the greatest things I've ever done in my 17 years of teaching. If those laws are repealed, neither side of the issue seems to know what would happen to classrooms afterward. Live in the studio, Tina Jensen, today's six on your side. Firefighters.